on the one side, the environmental movement has, has been saying, you know, save nature, save, protect it for, for its own sake because it's beautiful and, you know, it's, but <clears throat> there's sort of this, um, this idea that it's out there and we're here and, you know, so we don't want to screw with it. Um, you know, the conventional economic approach is, well, it's not really important, you know, we can, we can, we can live without it. I think this approach of ecosystem services is the middle ground, which is, I think, much more accurate that uh, natural ecosystems support our well-being. They're as important as any other form of, of assets uh, in our economy. They're part of the economy, you know, rather than outside the economy. And at the same time, the economy is part of, you know, this, the, the natural world. So it gets back to the more integrated uh, picture. That we can't look at the world as these isolated pieces any longer. We have to look at how the, how the connections work. Again, as we've moved from an empty to a full world, uh, those interconnections become uh, much more important, much more relevant, much more tangible. Uh, and, I, and I think that's the, the recognition that will change people's uh, perception and their, and their behavior about how to manage these assets. And thinking of them as assets in the first place is the, the key change.